Hi, I'm Ron Jones from Lean Braze. I'm in Tucson, Arizona with Enid Whitaker, the Managing Director for Bonnie Prude Myotherapy, and she's also a physical education teacher. And we're here to talk about Bonnie Pruden's hand-drawn illustrations. This one is really a funny illustration for one of her uh, circuit stations in her programming years ago that involved a, a wand, or we might call that a health wand today, but uh, Bonnie just called them wands. But she used a lot of wands too, but she used them differently, and this is a very humorous uh, poster, so let's talk about this for a minute. Well, flexibility is very important. Uh -huh. So. And flexibility done with a partner, you get better results uh -huh. because you're working with or against somebody. Right. So um, this was something that we would do at the end of our workout mm -hmm. um, using partner. Mm -hmm. And it just allowed you to stretch further yeah. and in a variety of ways. Right. It was just fun to work with somebody. Right. And if you're working with somebody who's really, really um, not the same size you are, uh -huh. you can adjust by putting your feet or having them put your feet inside your legs instead mm -hmm. of on, on the feet. Right, right, yeah. And um, you don't just have to go back and forth. There's a whole bunch of different things that you can do right. with just that wand. And it's, it's um, a yard long. So uh -huh. if you go to Ace Hardware, you can have a pole right. cut. It's a simple stick. Yeah. yeah. I like this because in, in the one person's overdoing the partner and the other partner's like, ah, you know. And so she, in a humorous way, is, you know, helping us learn even today that you don't want to exceed a person's capacity to control a movement. It, even with, with little kids can work together and uh -huh. learn to sense what the other person's body can and cannot do. And it right. just... It's a it's a good way to teach little kids mm -hmm. to be sensitive to the person next to them. You learn a lot by working with another person's body. I think one of the best experiences I've had um, in this uh, kind of topic is I did a yoga class in Huntington Beach a few years ago, and we used uh, a partner, and there was a woman that I was with where we were um, folding our spines into each other and helping the other person bend over and then feeling each other breathe into um, you know our backs it was it was a really cool experience and we got different ranges of motion working with someone else that I would never have been able to get by myself and I thought it was it was just nice to work with another person so anyway this is a little uh, glimpse of that and how Bonnie did it with the wand and had fun with it too thanks so the idea is to work with your partner to get the most out of the stretch. So just go back and forth to the music. Well, that's a good hamstring stretch. It should be a good crotch stretch. Yes. <laughs> Don't hit your head. So I go down and back yeah. up. Yeah, and go down as far on the floor as you can Don't, without bumping your head. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, now put it uh, parallel. And just gentle, be gentle. <laughs> gentle. Okay, I'm not going there. If I make noises like Edith did a few minutes ago. Don't do little jerks, just gentle pulls back and forth. But this is good, it shows that like I'm obviously not as flexible as Naomi, but right. we can both work within each other's. Yeah. Although I don't know if she's getting anything out of it, because Oh she's... yeah. But I can feel that in my low back. Now just And then both pull on it. 